everybody, GH Nathan here from Halo Dude Productions, and welcome to uh, the countdown to the Master Chief Collection. This is uh, it's only a countdown of four. What I'm going to do is today I'm going to be playing some Combat Evolved Anniversary. I'm going to play my favourite mission on Halo One. Tomorrow, my favourite mission on Halo Two. The day after, favourite mission on Halo Three, and you get the picture on Halo Four uh, on the tenth of November. I'll play my favourite mission of Halo Four. And then on the 11th, Master Chief Collections all the time. All the time. Alright, let's start this. So my favourite mission in Halo 1 is 343 Guilty Spark. I don't know why. I've always loved that mission. Especially the cutscenes. The, 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 especially that one where you first interact with the Flood. I, I love that cutscene with Jenkins or whatever. It's, it's awesome. So let's get us started. And I um, hope you enjoy these videos, guys. If you do enjoy this content, please do not forget to give that subscribe button a smack on the bottom. That would uh, really be helpful, guys. Thanks a lot. The last transmission from the captain's dropship was from this area. That was over 12 hours ago. When you locate Captain Keys, radio in, and I'll come pick you up. Really love this mission, guys. Really good. Um, old graphics, it's awesome. Uh, I feel like it's better in the new graphics, so it just looks amazing. This is the old graphics. Looks, you know, pretty classic. I ain't go back to the new graphics. I'm going to keep it in this for the duration of this uh, video. Uh, I don't know why, I just I just want to play in the new graphics. I feel like it'd be easier uh, for me, because I'm more used to it. I, I didn't actually grow up with Halo 1, unfortunately. My first ever Halo game was Halo 3, believe it or not, so, um, yeah. But I do love Halo 1's Classic. Uh, I did actually play all the way through in Classic, just to feel feel the um, how awesome it was, the original feeling. Uh, I didn't get as nostalgic as everyone else would, but, uh, you know, it was, still, it was still a very awesome feeling, nevertheless. And, uh, yeah. But I just I just love the detail on this map. It's amazing. In the, in the new graphics, it's brilliant. I think 343 did a impeccable job or you know uh whoever did the uh designing on this i'm not sure i think it was like certain infinity i'm not sure um but uh, yeah no whoever made this the graphics they're uh they're amazing <laughs> i love them for it my aiming's a bit rusty uh i did play this recently though uh, i don't know if you saw my video of it or not uh it's on screen now you can click it if you want to uh, i'll take you straight to it it's basically my 750 subscriber special video Played Halo 1 uh, as Steve and Carlos, my two characters from my series, Steve and Carlos. They played Halo 1 together. Obviously, clearly, you know, I do the voices for both of them. So I was pretty much just playing with myself. I was uh, talking to myself the whole video. It was pretty fucking distracting and weird, but it was a lot of fun and it came out great. And I, I really want to do more. If you guys want to see more, uh, make sure to tell me so in the comment section. Or message me on Xbox or something, whatever you want to do. Right, let's get some grunt kills. Ugh, take this, you damn grunt. He's dead. I'm going to flop out my assault rifle and get some kills with this. If I can. I mean... Grunts? Hello? I don't see any. I think they've dead. Wait, how did this one die? I didn't kill that one. Hmm, freaky. That's weird. Oh, there's the elevator. Whee! Ugh. It'd be funny if that killed me. Like I just like broke my legs on it as it was coming up. Like, ugh. End of Master Chief. Wee, wee, wee. Ugh. Hey, oh. That's pretty good. Ugh. Take this. Ha ha. The grenades will kill you. Oh, yeah, guys. Um, I might as well reap cats. Re bleh. Today. Might as well recap some stuff in this video for people watching. Uh, if you did not know, uh, if you missed it, I've been posting videos a while, um, all week, but, but if you didn't realize, uh, Stephen Carlos episode 17's ending, you know, the original Stephen Carlos episode 17, if you saw it, um, the ending to that, the cliffhanger, was actually false. When I looked through my plot for my Agent Zero series, turns out if I'd kept that ending at the end of Stephen Carlos episode 17, it would have single-handedly, believe it or not, ruined the entire plotline for the first five seasons of my Agent Zero series. That's the first 100 episodes. It would have fucked that up completely, believe it or not. I know it was... Those of you that did see the the re-upload of episode 17 with the new ending, uh, you may, not, may have been all like, 
Oh, well, he didn't change that much. It was, it was still the same outcome. It was just told slightly differently. Trust me, that right there, the, the, the original, trust me, it may, not, it may have seemed like a minor change, but it was a massive, like, it was just, it was massive loads better. Because if I kept the old one, I, I, I would have to rewrite the entire plotline for Agent Zero. It, it would have been crazy. See, I'm, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad I fixed it. I noticed it when I was writing episode 18. Which, by the way, episode 18, I'm working on it right now. Editing it and stuff. Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one of those things! I'll blow your brains out! I'll, uh, Get away from me! I'll put him out of his misery. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Enough of that. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so I'm working on episode 18 now. Uh, it's only going to be a short episode. It's, I don't know how long it's going to be. I want to say it's probably going to be about five minutes, maybe four and a half minutes, something like that. Whereas, you know, the last episode was like fucking 14 minutes altogether. Uh, but uh, episode 19, I, I've already wrote episode 19 and I'm hoping to get it out, you know, sometime after I get the Master Chief Collection. Um, oh, someone messaged me on Skype. I'll have to read that later. Anyway, um, but, uh, yeah. No, um, I, I want to try and get episode 19 out probably by, like, December something. If I can, next month. Here we go, there's the awesome as fuck cutscene. I'm not going to talk during this, it's awesome. This old stuff, Sarge. Watch your mouth, son. This stuff is your history. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, if the governor want to wipe out this particular part of my history, that's fine by me. Yeah, better it than us. You ask him real nice next time you see him, Vicente. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. LZ looks clear. I'm bringing us down. Go, go, go! Stay close, Jenkins! Mendoza, move it up! Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. Sir! Okay, let's move! Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident, you know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? No, we just met. Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant worked pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir.
Bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain something. Stark. Can you hear me? What's going on, soldier? You've got contacts! Lots of them! They're not coming in! They're just staring through us! What the slow drone! Corporal! Do you copy? Over! Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't. There, get up! Ah, ah, hold get still! Out. Hold get still! Out. Let him have it! Ah. Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapons! There are too many, sir! Don't even think about it, please. Who oh, is it, Rufo? Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jenkins! Jenkins got bloody mullered. <laughs> Alright, uh, I love that cutscene there. It's fucking awesome, man. I love all the blood from where they've all... Tech kind of died. Seriously, though. Here's the thing I want to talk about. Sergeant Johnson, right? He, he supposedly must have died here, right? He, he must have died, right? And then fucking... He turns up in the legendary, like... At the end of the like Halo One, he's he's turns up hugging an elite, where he somehow survived this room of flood. We don't know how the fuck he made it out, and then fucking <laughs> he turns up there. But then immediately the ring blows up and he dies there. Or supposedly everyone's like, oh, we must have died. There's no way he got out in time. But uh, I guess I. I guess the elite must have like teleported up to its ship and took Johnson with it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's that's my reason. That's the only thing I can think of. He he, he has so many lives. He's, he's like a cat. <laughs> but Johnson just keeps coming back. I wonder. I wonder because he died in Halo Three. I wonder if he'll come back in <laughs> Halo Five or something. <laughs> I was thinking of that like in Halo Four. I was like, mm, I wonder if he came back to life. <laughs> Because, you know, he, he was brought back to life in Halo 1 and 2. And he died in 3. <laughs> this makes you think, you know, what if he's going to be alive again at some point? I just thought that was a bit strange. I don't know if anyone else has ever picked up on that. That, you know, he must be dead. <laughs> I mean, he probably could have escaped, I guess. But, but even so, you know, the whole ring thing blowing up. He didn't have much time before it blew up. He only had a few seconds. But, uh, you know, as I just said, I guess, maybe the elite, like, the, the elite was like, Rah, beam me up, beam me up, Scotty! And, yeah, uh, Scotty beamed up the elite to the Enterprise. Anyway, I'm just being silly now, let's just play this. Oh, shit, I'm getting my ass kicked on normal. Oh, dear. The, um, the irony. Oh, the irony. Oh, yeah, one thing as well, with the new graphics, I don't think the FUD looked that scary. Look, look at that, look. That does not look intimidating. Hello, you big old weird looking thing. That doesn't look too intimidating. If I go to this, watch this. The room's a lot darker, and look, you got this thing following you. Oh my god, what the fuck is it? Oh god, what are these things? And then you go into the new graphics, it's like, oh, it's just, you know. Hey, how's it going? Not scary at all, just fucking. Alright. Yeah, they really downgraded the scariness of Halo 1 with the new graphics. I hope to God Halo 2's flood look immensely more scary because they look fucking fucking My Little Pony characters look scarier than those things. I mean, come on, what the fuck? Who designed those flood? Who on earth designed them? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me if I'm honest. 
All right, where the hell am I going? Uh, um, I guess I'll go in this door. I always get lost. This is the hardest thing. I I can easily get into the fucking into this place. You can't get your way out of it though. <laughs> it's easy to get yourself in, but it's very hard to get yourself out again. That's just what I'm coming across. It's really hard to to find your way around this place. Although, <laughs> is this it? Did I find the way? I'm doing pretty good, at least. Come on, elevator. Come on. Oh, I have to activate it. Son of a bitch. Fine. I'll activate the elevator. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a terminal somewhere on this level. I'll show you it when I, when I come to it. It's not at this bit, though. It'll be uh, later on. Did I press the button? I think I missed it. Ugh, didn't miss it that time. Definitely got it that time. What the shit just happened? Oh, you almost pushed me off, you fucking... Anyway. Is the elevator going to move or what? Because I, I pressed the button and nothing's happened. I, I feel like it's broken. I feel like I've gone the wrong... Oh, well, brilliant. Brilliant! You killed me, you... So I was going the wrong way the whole time. See, this I, this game confuses me. I don't like this part of the mission. I love this mission, though. It's my favorite mission. But this part is so hard to navigate. It's... I, what? Like, where the hell do you go? <laughs> I think it's this way I've got to go. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to go this way. This looks legit. Yeah, this is it. I remember. You have to go this way. Oh, shotgun. I'm going to take that. Now you're probably thinking I'm mad. I've got rid of the Halo 1 pistol, which is the best weapon in the game. I mean, it kills a hunter in like three shots on normal. But, uh, you know. Fucking. Whatever. Uh, the. Yeah. Alright, the terminal isn't on this bit. I don't know why I'm showing you it. It's probably like 100,000 videos on the internet showing you where the terminal is. But I'll still help people out that don't know where it is. Screw it, why not? Oh yeah, I'm going to grab the overshield. Now I'm going to be a punk bitch about it and pick up that. Love the overshields in Halo 1 campaign. Very helpful. Wish they'd put them back in later games. I'm pretty certain they weren't in Halo 2 in campaign. And they definitely weren't in any other Halo games. I don't know. Alright, let's go. Edge gear. I've, some, I've made it across there once before. I'm going to try it again. Ah, I did actually one time make it across. It was very lucky. Like I just, I did the jumps. It was awesome. I lost all my fucking overshield immediately there. Take this, you bastards! I'm gonna kill you. You won't see the light of day again. Help! I'm being killed. <laughs> I immediately went from I'm gonna kill all of you. I'm the best player ever, and then immediately I'm oh shit! Help! I'm gonna die. <laughs> Come on, get up! Oh, I don't like the jumping in this game. Get up! Ah, oh, well, I'm dead. I do not like the jumping in this game. It's very hard and difficult and hard. Did I forget to mention it's hard? Um, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Grab the overshield, leg it out of the room. Oh god, oh dear. It's all kicking off now. Oh no. Let's make it across the bridge again. Oh, you can do it though. I've done it before. Run for your life. Keep the overshield on. It's your only way, Nathan. Yeah, I'll tell you, this, this level's pretty damn difficult on Legendary. One of the harder ones, I'd say. When I did the game on Legendary. It's really difficult. It's a short mission, too. This mission's like the shortest. Prob probably the shortest mission in the game next to the first mission I want to say like it's I mean the, the only long part of this is the cutscene which is fucking awesome by the way never skip that <laughs> love it to bits all right where am I going I'm gonna go this way I'm assuming um, this seems like the way to go I'm probably wrong but uh you know we'll soon find out <laughs> this is a bit I don't get do I go I guess I go down here now where the door's been blown off its hinges. Like all the other doors on this damn level. <laughs> they wouldn't destroyed and obliterated. Another door! I'm probably gonna be going the wrong way if I go through here, but whatever. Oh, oh. 
Stop chasing me, you weirdo. Leave me alone. Oh god, leave me alone. Seriously, that's getting annoying now. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. This is probably wrong. Actually, no, I remember this. This is right. This is totally right. Bonk. Ugh. Try walking on that. Uh-oh. Stop hitting me. Chuck grenade. I think a mess stuck him. No, I missed. That's not very helpful. Ugh. Activated that. Boom, motherfucker. Boom. Good lord. Alright, that now that's pretty cool looking. Like, I was like, yeah, that's the only scary flood model. That, well, it's not really scary, but it's the only... It's the best looking flood model in the new graphics. It's one with the head fucking hanging on the shoulder, like, kind of thing. That's that's good detail. I like that. And that would be kind of scary. You just need to make the level dark now, and it'd be, like, pretty freaky. Alright, here's the terminal, by the way. You hit activate that, and you jump off onto there, and that's the terminal. I'm not going to do it, though, because I don't want to miss the elevator. But you, why did I just shoot? That was weird. I lost your signal when you disappeared inside the structure. What's going on down there? I'm tracking movement all over the place. Sir, thank God you're here. We've been lost out here for hours. After we lost contact with the rest of the mission, we, we headed for the RV point, and then these 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 things, they, they ambushed us. We've got to get out of here. There's a large tower a few hundred meters from your current position. Find a way above the fog and foliage canopy, and I can move in and pick you up. Alright, we've got to go out the place. Okay, let's go. Move out the way, goddammit. <laughs> I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there was a map in Halo 1, like in multiplayer, that looked just like this jungle. Pretty sure there was. I never played it, but I'm I'm fairly certain it it looked like this anyway, in, in the old graphics, obviously. For, it was in, I was in, I'm pretty sure it was in a Red vs. Blue episode, like season 3 or 4. Probably 4, I think. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway. Let's carry on. Well, oh, ah. it's gonna ignore all the flood. I don't care. I just wanna, I just wanna get to free for free Guilty Spark and watch that cutscene, which is not the best of cutscenes, but still pretty cool. The first time you see him, he's like, "Whoa, who the hell's that floating eyeball dude? <laughs> I wonder if he'd be a main character." And then he is, and he'll be in it all the time until Halo Free ending, and then we won't see him again. Well, kind of. The same in terminals still in anniversary and uh, I think no, nah, you don't see me here before, I don't think. Leave me alone! I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Sorry. Get out the way, man. Ugh! Take this. Leave those marines alone, you baskets. I think I may have just shot a marine. Oh dear. He's got a flood on him, I'm trying to get it off. Stand still! Oh. Um. Fuck you! <laughs> Wasn't me, I didn't kill him. Uh, the, the flood did it. I have video proof! <laughs> Actually, you don't want to check the proof. It's, uh. It's bad. <laughs> I may have lied. <laughs> I may have punched the marine. Don't hate me! So we're coming to the end here, guys. There's only like... i have just got to wait here now for Dr. Eibel. Mr. Eibel 3000. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'll just say this, though. Episode 18 of Stephen Carlos is either going to come out the same day as this video, which is today, by the way. I've done a lot today. I, I uh, body acted all of Stephen Carlos when I got up, as well as also captured all the footage I need. All that's left is the editing. I even have all the voices. And then I immediately after capturing, I came here and I recorded this video. And then after this, I'm going to go and edit this and, and render it. While it's rendering, I'll open up another Vegas and I'll just edit all day and see if I can get Stephen Carlos 18 done. But there's a, there's a probably a, I want to say like an 80% chance it's not going to be done today. It'll probably be done tomorrow. Yeah, I'd say it'd be up tomorrow. Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. 
My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I've lost your signal! Where'd you go? Chief! Chief! You know, I really wish they kept the, the model of the original 343 Guilty Spark, like how he looks in this game, basically, in Halo 4 when you're in Forge mode and you turn into the Oracle Ball thing. If they'd fucking kept the original model, it wouldn't look good. I don't like the one in Halo 4. It's too weird. It's all rounded and stuff. I like this. He looks good in this. Anyway, let's save and quit. I can't skip the cuts. There we go. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, that's it, guys, pretty much. Uh, I will be doing Halo 2 tomorrow, and then Halo 3 the day after that, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then when the 11th fits, I'll be doing the Master Chief Collection. I'll talk more on that in tomorrow's video, though, and probably the other videos, too. I'll explain more, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, give that subscribe button a smack on the bottom. Like this video up if you enjoy it, and don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Have a nice day. For more Halo Machinimas and other assortments of gameplay-related content, give that subscribe button a bit of a smack on the bottom. Also, don't forget to favourite, like, and share. It really helps, guys.